Good morning, my dear students. Hope you all are fine. So, in today's class, I am going to explain you about the the comments. So, before starting the topic that is comments, I'd like to recapitulate a few things that we have done in our previous class. So, if you remember, my dear students, in our previous class, I have taught you about the the program segment, and I have told you about the different names that will be used there in the program segment. And from that particular portion only, if you remember, at the beginning, I have told you about the symbol, which is double forward slash, and the name of this symbol is called as comments. And we usually use this symbol in order to write the remark there in the program. And as I told you there in the last class, these symbols, these comments that we usually write there in the program segment is not the part of program. So during the execution of program, this won't be the part of the program. I told you about this one also. So what is actually a comment? What are comments? Let us learn this one. So what are comments? A comment is a remark from the programmer. So suppose if I am writing a program, I am considered as a programmer or a user. So a comment is a remark that is given from the programmer to explain some aspect of the code to someone who is reading the program. So that is called as comments. So that means comments are the remarks that will be given by a programmer who is writing a program and in order to make understand to a person who is reading the program. So that particular statement that is written for the understanding of the person or to the person to whom you want to explain the, the program segment, that particular statement written is called as a comment. Now there are two different types of comments there in Java programming. The first one is called as single line comment and the second one is called as multi-line comment. So these are the two different types of comment that we'll be learning here in Java programming. So the first one, single line comment example. Just for example, int d equals to 5. So a data type has been used that is int and variable d has been used equals to 5. That means variable d is storing some value that is 5. Now how to use comment for this particular small program segment is now here is the comment for this particular portion double forward slash single line comment symbol double forward slash d is a variable to store discount now before writing this one if i write only this portion now some of the the person who is reading the program may not understand what actually this means so in order to make understand in order to make this particular portion understand i am writing this comment which tells d is a variable so this d is a variable to store discount that means d is storing a uh, the value that is 5 and d is nothing but this is a discount that means d stands for discount so this is how we have to use the comment in different portions of the program segment now the second kind of comment is called as multi line comment so multi line comment will be will be written in more than one line and the symbol that we use for multi line is different from the the single line comment single line comment means the comment will be written in one single statement only one particular line only so in order to write that single line comment this is the symbol that is used but whereas in multi line comment the same symbol will not be used so another symbol will be used that is forward slash and asterisk dot 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 so the comment will be more than one line and how to end this particular comment portion is by putting this asterisk sign and again forward slash single forward slash so this indicates the multi-line comment so there are two different types of comments one is single line comment and this is the symbol to denote single line comment and multi-line comment this is the symbol to denote the multi-line comment. So these are the, the two different types of comments. And comment means nothing but these are the remarks that is given by the programmer, the person who writes the program. So my dear students, these are the things that you have to remember whenever you are dealing with the program segment. So in today's class, I have explained you about one small topic. Though 
this one is short topic but this is very much important whenever we are dealing with the java programming so my dear students in today's class i have done with this comments so in upcoming classes i'll be coming with some important topics so till then kindly revise the thing whatever is taught in today's class and whatever portions are covered in previous class kindly revise those things also and kindly dedicate your time in studies stay safe thank you